I'm Victor Vargas. Welcome to this Daily Bark. And here we discuss ideas around composing art and life. Well, it means for me also that growing bigger as an artist is growing bigger as a composer. Because my goal is to grow bigger and bigger and develop myself. Uh, I met... Um, Victor, when I was close to my exam, and it, it, this exam in Israel is the first step for recognition of me as an artist here, and I made this course extreme, ex like one week, two weeks before exam, <laughs> and I had to study even at night, <laughs> days and nights. So it was very intense, but very informative. What I would say also that when you know, when you don't know any law of composition or art, you can paint anything, but now it becomes harder to me to do any. <laughs> <laughs> like I struggle every time, it's a struggle. I work with it. <laughs> Can you tell me, Victor, when will be easy for me to make something? <laughs> Beautiful. Honestly, never. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's very frustrating. That's, that's, that's funny, Anna. I like that. That's good. That's killing me. When it will be easy for yeah, me? Hey, hey. I was thinking about Mitta this week. Um, I had this graphic, de uh, graphic design job I do in the morning uh, during the daytime. And... I was like, oh my gosh, I think I might be making Mitta's life harder because <laughs> my boss wants layouts. He's hired a designer and he's hired someone who knows how to design. They're always talking about, oh, we want a graphic designer or someone who knows how to design, but ultimately they don't really care. They just want stuff produced. And it gets very frustrating because when you can see and you can see all these mistakes and like things that don't are just not right, you want to make them aligned. It almost, you almost become like OCD in a weird way, <laughs> but it becomes a headache because in, in, in a world where you just have to produce stuff for a living um, and very, very rapidly, you don't have the time or the space to really care for the craft. And so I was really, really thinking like, you know, this composition stuff is really, really great for fine artists who can take the time to really craft a work of art. And, and, and I'm not saying you shouldn't learn this method. You should, because when you get an opportunity to do really high end design work, it, it pays off. Um, but at some point you're going to have to find like this balance between, you know, making your boss happy and, and, <laughs> you're so happy. <laughs> yeah, Victor, I still, uh, I still feel that composition is at the heart of uh, 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 art as well as good graphic design, uh, or rather great graphic design. So that's why I'm, I'm interested in this. Indeed. So we have. I would also add that it definitely yes. pays off the knowledge and the position of skills space off because I got the three of four. So I'm the winner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. You do. <laughs> so now uh, you're allowed to be an artist in Israel. huh? Oh yeah. <laughs>